From Senegal to Colorado to eventually the NBA, Bayfall is the king of Colorado high school basketball at the moment. But with that talent comes the burden of expectation. I got to meet Bay this week, and I must say, even in the face of some tough decisions, this kid is built for success. Let's go again. One more. Bayfall is just a random kid, you know, he's playing basketball here in the U.S. You know, and that's kind of cool. Oh, good, good, good. There we go. Play again. Come on, come on, come on, come on. When you're a seven foot 17 year old, anonymity is elusive. He's very full. He's ranked third in the nation. This, this, and that is just crazy. You know, all that attention and talking. It's not easy being Bay. That's one blooper right there. It's, it's real hard, I'm telling you. People just come up, you know. It can be hurtful sometimes. It can just be, you know like they're mocking you or something. He feels like a misfit at the grocery store, but on the court, he's a maestro. He's a pro. I've talked to a lot of NBA scouts about this. They compare him to a Kevin Garnett because his motor's so high, he's so long, he's kind of lean, but really, really wiry strong. Stab him into the ground, stab. That's Ray Valdez, the head coach at newly formed Denver Prep Academy. We're trying to give kids their lives back, but also giving them some straight lines and some roads to chase their dreams within their sports philosophies. Let's rewind a minute. Last season, Bayfall played for Lutheran High School and won a state championship. Lutheran helped me a lot, the coaches and the environment over there. It helped me a lot to just get better as a person, you know. Another day goes by that I don't think about them, just think about the environment, my teammates. You win stay at Lutheran, at amazing, right? But then you make the decision to come to, to DPA. What went into that decision? If I say I want to make it to the next level, I just got to go with like the better competition, you know, play against the best in the nation. He's out seeking competition and lifting up Colorado basketball in the process. Four, quick stop, jab, go, go, go. Uh, Colorado basketball is kind of underrated, I feel like, in the nation. So why not just, you know, try to take it up there? He's such a special kid in so many ways. And he's, he's kind of a modern era kid with some old school mentality. So remember, ball high, body low. Every time gets it up. Let's go. He's not Kevin Durant teaming up with the Warriors. He's authoring his own story. Like my dad said, I just write your own shuttle, you know. I just created my own path. I started it here, I'm gonna finish it here, you know. Good, good. Bay marches to the beat of his own drum, and that rhythm fits in harmoniously at DPA. Oh, that way one. We really just want to make sure that these kids that, that we're reaching out to have a road where we say, hey, it's okay to be different. It's okay to be outside the box. It's okay to be fanatical. That's when we find out who we are. I don't care about misses and makes when you're tired, just how hard we push. There it is, there it is. He has big dreams. Make it to the NBA, study architecture, help his people. You know, be a good person for the people, you know, help out people, be a good, you know, person for the community, you know, do big things for people that can't do something for themselves. It's probably the most inspiring player I've coached so far. Fall and his Denver prep teammates begin play on a national circuit this autumn. Hey, okay. Until then, the competition comes from within. What are you wooing about? You that tired? Bang that three for me. Let me see. Let me see that jumper. Let me see that jumper. Let's see. Five push-ups on it. Cruz, you want, Cruz, you want five push-ups. <laughs>